This is the USF Diamond Dons Week in Review report for the Week in Review from Friday, April 4th to Tuesday, April the 5th, 2011. Here on our USF Dons Weekly Report will now be on YouTube throughout the remainder of this season. And uh, we're going to be uh, talking with uh, 13th year head coach USF Dons, DOJ Tyler the Dons, coming off with a four zip win over Cal Poly from the Big West. And uh, with the win, the Dons approve their record of 13 and 16 overall, while Cal Poly drops their record of 10 and 14. We're going to uh, reset, summarize uh, from uh, last um, over the weekend. Uh, you guys were able to uh, well, lost two out of three, but end up uh, salvaging the final game. 5 3 Friday night in a tough 3 2 heartbreaker last Saturday night. So let's uh, start from uh, the beginning of Friday against uh, one of the top teams in the country. The Fresno State Bulldogs from the WAC. You know, B, Friday's a good game. It's 3-3 late in the game, and we just can't drive runners in. I think we might have left 11 guys on again. He's still hitting 200 with runners in scoring position. So it was a tough game. You know, we jumped out to a one nothing lead, had a chance to make it 2 nothing with a runner at third base and no outs, and we don't score them. Uh, and you can't do that against good teams. So uh, Fresno is a very good team. And then the next night we have them beat four to three. Outplayed them, right? Outplayed them, out hit them yeah, for 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 eight and a half innings because of. I played them the whole game really, and uh, second and third, two outs, and I put a a reliever in, and we walked a guy, we walked the run in to tie it, and then we gave up a base hit to lose it. So it, it was a tough night for our club, and. We needed to bounce back, and Sunday was a huge bounce back day where we get a 4-3 win at their place, and then uh, today 4 to nothing. So, so let's, let's talk about today's game, you guys. Uh, um, first time in probably over a week and 10 days to win consecutive games. Um, 4 nothing was a shutout uh, score. The winning pitcher of that game uh, for today was um, Water, Elliot Waterman. Elliot's been great, you know, and uh, I thought our bullpen pitched great. Alex Baylog gave us a good start. Got some outs in there for a two-inning stint. Uh, you know, we got a big home run from Mahood today, and uh, we got a big base hit from Steve to lead off an inning, which was good for us, and, and Nick was able to move him. So, uh, you know, all in all, four runs doesn't seem like a whole lot, but seems like in, in, in this year's world, four runs can win you a game. Mm, yeah, yeah. So um, now as that, um, that chapter is closed, now we're going to go to West Coast Conference play. The first opponent, West WCC opener, will be against the St. Mary's Gales. And this is going to be um, uh, right out of the shoot, though. But, you know, St. Mary's can really pitch, and uh, that uh, so can we. And uh, we're going to have to play defense and, you know, a 21-game sprint for this conference championship. So uh, it's tough, you know, when you're only playing 21 games in the conference. you got to get off to a good start. Uh, you got to win two out of three at, at the least in order at to win best. it. Yeah. And uh, so we got to definitely, you know, at home, we're at home to start the season. We got to get started on the right foot. Matt Lujan pitches good for us on Friday, and then we'll see where it takes us. So, uh, th yeah, because uh, there'll be a lot of home games this year in West Coast Conference play. Uh, a little more than usual. Because of every idea of the rotation of the schedule. So, uh, yeah, we play 12 at home and nine on the road this year. And uh, so I think, you know, including uh, LMU will be coming back uh, up here um, first time I'm thinking on what five years since the last time they uh, played a series uh, out up here yeah in first quite time. some time so first you time. know that's very unusual but um, it's an opportunity to win a series and uh, we'll see what happens uh, it's um, we'll see what happens in West Coast Conference play because I think like everybody was saying talk to everybody uh, the, in the stands they were up there saying uh WCC is open, is open for anybody because San Diego, they've been struggling this year with their pitching. And, uh, yeah, it's a good I, year for us to jump in there. So this is a, maybe if a, with San Diego having a down year, maybe it's an opportunity to get get some serious wins. Maybe I really like the new headset and the new camera. It looks like you got some nice stuff. Oh, thank you very much. And yeah. That's going to do it. Um, the reminder, USF Dons West Coast Conference opener this weekend versus the St. Mary's Gales here at Dante Benedetti Diamond, the first of a three-game weekend series. Now it all counts three games here against the St. Mary's Gales from Moraga. They'll be coming up here to Benedetti Diamond for the first of a three-game weekend series. And um, come on, if you want to listen to the action, if you're not able to attend to the game in person, 
You can listen online at usfdodge.com. As Anthony Diabora and Ryan McCray will give you the play-by-play descriptions of the ball game. And for all the latest Duns, baseball news and stories, and so much more, go to usfdons.com, 24-7, your Dons news source. This has been the USF Diamond Dons Weekly Report on YouTube.